Maraj, you on mute. Hare Krishna Gurudev. Um, Vishwadet Maharaj, you're on mute. That's a upar, hi. Hare Krishna. Hi, hi, hi. Ah. Now you could have asked the uh, Maharaj to continue. Uh, uh. Hare Krishna Gurudev, Dhanavatram. Dhanavatram. Guruve Gaura Chandra, Radhika, Kadala. Krishna, Krishna Bhakta, Tad Bhakta, Namun Nama. Sri Guru Charana Kamalam Vande Ramana Prasthaya Bhutale Sri Rupanaga Bhakti Ramcha Krupa Murtim Narayanam Namaste Guru Devaya Sarva Siddhi Pradayana Sarva Mangala Rupaya Sarva Ananda Vidaya Ye Shri Guru Jnana Dadina Bando Pananda Dataha Karunai Kasindo Vandavana Vasina Itavatara Prasida Sri Radha Praniya Prashana Rayasto Boja Ganata Guru Samsara Vanina Dagdamam Kaladashtam Chatwaman Charanam Jata Radha san muka sam saktim saki sangani vasini Swamaham satatam vande guru rupam param saki Jaya navadvi pa navapradi pa prabhava pashanda gajaita simma Vanama sankya japa sutra dari chaitanya chandra bhagavan nivari Ajanulam bita bujau kanaka vadatau Sankirtanaika pitarau kamalaya taksau Vishwambarau dvijavarau ibadarma pala Vande jagat priyakarau karuna avatarau Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Sri Gadadara Sri Vasari Sri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Let me offer my millions of opportunities. Not as sweet as you are. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. 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 Thank you,
you have to please forgive me uh, with little delay because so many guests here uh, today is uh, in bangalore it is actually lockdown <laughs> curfew but still a lot of people come and uh, today also is uh, uh, like uh, like uh, makar sankranti you know uh, doing worshiping cows and then like that also sun going towards northern direction you know was going south now it stopped and moving towards north you know? now one question comes now who is how does he know <laughs> suppose scientifically speaking suppose if they think is only laws mechanical laws the moon the planets you no know, don't have any intelligence or something like that if they think the question is how does it know hey it is i now i have to change the direction <laughs> what is the answer for that you know see unless somebody instructs you know, uh just the law alone will not do but even if even if they have to accept some laws laws of gravitation you know uh kepler laws you know kepler laws of planetary system you know they move in a some prescribed fashion but who i mean you know who who devise those laws even if you devise a law like you have a highway traffic lanes right you have designed people are driving and they are driving according to some rules regulations you know and somebody is watching maybe by remote or something uh, you know so like that there has to be you have to accept Yeah, a controller, you know, supreme controller. So uh, it cannot be just a mechanical system, you know. So even like, see, sometime, uh, one time in Europe, I saw a, a bus, no driver, driverless bus. Right? You can see, oh, you see. bus is going without a driver that is an example right but actually who who programmed the bus right <laughs> according to some regulation this way that way sensors you know they put mechanical sensors sensors is getting the signal under according to the program the program is making decision but who build, build that decision making program right a designer you no know, personality you no know? so eventually it boils down to that you know uh you cannot rule out so and you cannot rule out the lord who is everywhere all the time you know and from whom everything has come unless everything has coming from him how we will have a control over it so he has a control over every atom every electron you know so bah, it's, uh, our mind cannot think of this you know that's why it's uh, achintya you know by thinking we cannot explain this thing. we have to accept the source the like a praman the evidence that shastra you know so Vedas, ah, huh? so much Bhagavatam, ah, huh? is the uh, way we can understand things. Huh? It gives the evidence. Huh? Based on that evidence, we can huh? uh, infer these things. Huh? That's why Jiva Dharma, Dashamula, you know, they talks about like even in any mathematics or anything, they have a. Uh, uh, axioms right 
based on axiom, they come conclude with some theorems, right? So, uh, like that in the spiritual, uh, in a more elaborate way, uh, you know, especially Deva Dharma, uh, Pramana and Pramaya, you know. So, uh, then they deal with three, uh, Samanda, Vidaya, Prayojana. Uh, that is basic thing. It has, it, it has some foundation, you know, Pakka uh, foundation is there. You know? That's why you take any building, if there is no foundation, uh, you can't do anything. You know? First we have to build the foundation. To the extent the foundation is strong, to that extent whatever you build up will be strong. So, uh, our Gurudev used to say, you know, used to say, Bhagavad Gita, uh, foundation. You know. Once you build the building, then you don't see the foundation, right? <laughs> foundation is not visible, you know. Uh, but that is holding it. Like that, our foundation should be strong. Huh? Uh, our Gurudev's appearance day is uh, coming on February 1st. Huh? So, uh, 1st February. Huh? Then, before that is uh, 17th Purnima. Then, 28th January is again Shakthila Ekadasi. Huh? We can, if we can glorify our Gurudev, still we cannot, huh? Uh, we do so much. Uh, by glorifying, actually we are not adding anything to his glory, but we are getting purified. That's why, uh, in that context, if we understand Guru Tattva, our Gurudev is to say, you know, uh, backbone. Our backbone is very, very important. You know? If we don't have backbone, we cannot sit, we cannot stand, we cannot lie down, we cannot be anything. You know? So, to understand any tattva, the guru tattva is, is, is what backbone. Based on that, everything is built. In other words, Guru Tadva is Guru Nishta, faith in Guru, uh, is the foundation for spiritual life. You, know? you can see anywhere. Uh, uh, and how do we see Guru? Guru is one, Shastra is telling one. How do we see Guru is one? Shastra is one. Lord is one, right? Bhagavan is one. Ekam Advityam. Ekam Eva Paramatatvam. Same way. The way I, um, I reconciled is our parampara, no? say from uh, Brahma. Lord Krishna through the flute. No? He gave Divya Jnana to Brahma. Brahma to Narumuni, Narumuni to Vedavyas, Vedavyas to Madhvacharya, Madhvacharya to Padmanabha Tirtha, Narari Tirtha, Akshabha Tirtha, Jaya Tirtha, Jnana Sindhu Dayanidhi, Vidyanidhi. Huh? Um, then Vyasa Tirtha, huh? Brahma Tirtha, Vyasa Tirtha, Lakshmi Padi Tirtha, Madhavendra Puri, Ishwar Puri, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, huh? like that. Huh? This goes for me. Huh? Uh, Narottam, uh, like that. Huh? Uh, so, um, 
Now in our guru, uh, all the gurus are there. And our Param Guru, Bhakti Prajna and Keshav Maharaj, is also all the gurus, starting from Brahma. All the gurus. And then our Gurudev is also there. Bhakti Narma is also there in Bhakti Prajna and Keshav Maharaj, but he was not visible at that time. You understand? So in our Gurudev, Bhakti Prajna and Keshav Maharaj behind, Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Bhakti Gaur Kishore Das Bhavaji. Huh? Bhakti Unastak, Bhakti Unastaku, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, Baladeh Vidya Bhushan, Vishnu Chakur, Titaku, Narod, like that, you know, all of them. So they are present in every uh, our Guru Parampara. Uh, so, uh, and one is coming like like in a computer, you know, you see in a computer screen, you have one main screen, then background, background screen are there, many, many, right? You can switch any one, any window to next window. So many windows opening, right? So you can imagine a window for Brahma to Narumani, Veda Vyas, Madhvacha, like that windows. So one window, it like come forward, you know? Back side, all the windows are there. Something like that. You know? So that way, the one. Uh, so in the circle, you know? all are present. The future gurus are also present in our uh, like that. So he's not independent. In a sense, Krishna is. Uh, based on the desire of Krishna, huh? uh, certain features yes, shows up. Certain features shows up. So that way you can reconcile huh? that uh, actually Guru is one, huh? one wise. Huh? Uh, maybe different um, Packaging might differ up here, meaning language, presentation, de depending upon the circumstances, you know. You have to package it according to the time, place, circumstances. So, same thing, same medicine, you know. <laughs> same medicine, same information, you know? repackage and then so that it will be most effective, you know. That way. Uh, so that way, uh, like uh, our Gurudev, but actually Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur established this, you know, Sapta Panchaka, seven Panchakas, you know, uh, on his appearance day. Uh, he worshipped all previous Acharya or Sampradayas also. All the Sampradayas. Uh, Ramanja Acharya, Madhva Acharya, Nimbadja, Vishnu Acharya. Uh, uh, then Sukadev was born like that. Vyasa Panchaka, Krishna Panchaka, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, Panchaka, Upasya Panchaka. Guru Panchaka, you know. So Guru Guru De Param Guru De Paramatma Paratpar Guru like that, you know. Seven Panchaka. Practically all of course it doesn't mean only this and not others. No, not like that. But at least <laughs> to be practical, huh? Practical, huh? He, he showed that. So in other words, we owe our existence, our knowledge. To the previous Mahabhagavas. Um, and they are present in us. And, and they are inspiring us. So, so many um, incidences are there. Uh, 
Baladev Vidyabhushan, for example, you know, he was Gopinath uh, in, in the you know, past time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was explaining the uh, Vedanta Sutra huh? to Sarvam Bhattacharya. Bhattacharya first explained for seven, eight days. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was sitting quiet. <laughs> then he asked, you know, are you really understanding or not? <laughs> because you are not saying anything. <laughs> then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, yes, I understand. The sutras are very straightforward. There is no difficulty. But the way you are explaining, seems like you are actually trying to hide the real meaning. You know? <laughs> you know? So you don't want to bring out the original meaning. You are trying so hard. So, so then, you know, uh, Lord explained it real purpose. Then it, it changed. You know? So he became Vaishnava. You know? uh, so at that time, Gopinath Acharya was listening, and then he appeared later on as Balde uh, Vidya huh? And he again compile the Govinda Bhasha, Govinda Bhasha. So in other words, actually, Govinda Bhasha is recited by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in reality. But it seems like it was written down, huh? put down by Maladev Vidya But he himself says, he gave a name, Govinda Bhasha, Radha Govinda himself, not different from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He dictated. Huh? So, attributes like that. So, same way, it is, um, you know, we have to see the hidden uh, hand uh, through this. You know? Lord is very aware. Like in um, our own Bhaktivya uh, Narma, Gurudev, you know, uh, the way he got the books in uh, Mathura that he wanted to translate, you know, Paramguru they gave him the, uh, that you do everything in, uh, like uh, Hindi uh, or national language. Uh. So, uh, see, they have a long plan already. <laughs> big plan for the whole world, how to bring con conditioned souls, suffering souls, to make them happiness, you know, to make them happy. That's the goal. And everybody wants to be happy. Only thing is, we don't know how to be happy. We are, rather we are suffering. You know, uh, to be really happy. No? So they have a long plan, you know, big, big, uh, master plan in that the Acharyas play different roles. So Gurudev looking for the books, you know, Bengali books, and Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati talk books. You know? Of course, they already disappeared in, in one sense. But he is aware what is going on. What is our Gurudev is doing? No? So he inspired his disciple to go and give all the books in his library to him. You know, he gave him the dream and said, Hey, you are not using these books. You should give it to Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. He's in Matra. You know? He gave the instruction. And he came and gave it to him. So that means they are aware of it. They are there. They are watching. And uh, you know they are guiding. So uh, they are taking care of welfare. So we, we have to have that faith. You know? So that comes from uh, when we receive this transcendental knowledge. You know? uh, in other words. When we 
gradually come out of this material uh, entanglement, you know, drama, you know, this illusion, you know, uh, bodily consciousness. You know. So that uh, then we understand. So that way, um, Guru Tattva, only through Guru Parampara, uh, Vaishnava, Lord sends his energy, his uh, mercy. Uh, it's like a, a power station. Power is being generated somewhere long, you know, so many years. Hundreds of kilometers away, thousands of kilometers away, sometimes. You know? But it, then it comes down to power station, heat power station, down, down, down. You know? Like that, it is coming down. If there is a break in any one power station, then you don't get the power, right? <laughs> it has to be continued. That's why it is parampara. Huh? Uh, so this uh, living current, no? living current, is not uh, uh, jada or anything. Then one time I told about the transformer, no? Transformer, see anything in this material world, even mundane world, they cannot work without Guru principle. Take anything. It has to be there. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, transformer. You know? Transformer has two parts. Second, primary and secondary. Hmm? There is no physical connection between prime, secondary and primary. You know? There is no electrical contact. But on the outside, secondary, you have uh, 220 volts in India, some countries of South Africa also, I think, is 225. The pins may be different, huh? uh, but the voltage and frequency. In uh, Northern America, is probably 120, 110 volts. Huh? 110. Uh, 220, yes. Huh? Uh, primary side, it will be 14 kV, 14,000 volts like that. So if you connect directly, load your computer, electric bulb, fans, refrigerator, anything directly to the primary, finished, <laughs> you know, blown away. But to the secondary side, no problem, it runs, you know. So Guru is like that, he has, huh? he's a transformer. The secondary, it doesn't have its own energy. It depends on the primary side. It brings the energy and it matches according to the load. Same way to the jivas. You know, direct energy we cannot sustain. So it has to be matched. So that matching is done by the jivas. You know? He appears like one of us. One of us. But he is not one of us. He is transcendental, he is spiritual. Uh, none of these material laws applicable for him. Not applicable for him. So, you know, like that. He take a lake, you know, one time he gave an example. Water is there, sun is there, and the lotus flower is also there. Direct sun to the lotus, what happens? It will get burned. It cannot handle direct sun. Water is there, no problem. So through the water, huh, you get nourished. Water medium. Meaning, meaning water is also there in the entire leaves, you know, stuff like that. Photosynthesis. Uh, so without the water medium, directly the sun will very harsh. It will dry up. No, without water. So it is essential. Like that. No? 
but of course without um, sun it just water alone will not work either get it so then media is same way the any communication equipment your mobiles uh, radio tv wifi you know everything is based on guru param you know guru principle there is a carrier carrier is being modulated with the with the signal with the information you know and then there has to be demodulator modulator corresponding demodulator you know it will extract the information to extract you have to regenerate the carrier you know so if the carrier is little off of frequency or phase you will get a gibberish you know <laughs> wrong information you know? not visible uh, not audible or uh, make sense you know? so that regeneration you know? so that's what guru does you know he regenerates uh, he he sings our uh, you know so called clock system to be lost we are out of sync you know it synchronizes out of sync meaning we are we are our our, our basically we are krishna das right jivera swarupa krishna but now we are out of sync we are thinking oh i'm this body i'm this mind i'm this my i am and my you know so because of that you know we need to sync now and when you sync perfectly our then the, this mental you know this is gone out you know? and that's what the divya gnana is sinking thinking or you know otherwise see when we see even things we are seeing right as left left as right so without sync without the power of guru without mercy of guru we will 100% guaranteed to make mistakes guaranteed so we take one thing for the another like that that's why this is a very guru tatva is the foundation foundation then the other tatva is it no you can understand properly huh? fully huh? if we have this understood uh, by the mercy of you uh, know uh, the guru and the parampara so our gurudev sakyan the first of the drawing and we are so fortunate see he did mo- most of the books uh actually so many books from bengali sanskrit to hindi national language right? so from hindi language now it is all around the world you no know, different language Jaiva Dharma, he told us to read many, many times. He himself, 108 times. Not that he needed to show us uh, as a, uh, you know, achar, acharya, example. Say, I did this. So, so if you want to have, get result, you have to do the same way. Then he discussed with all the um uh, the disciples of bhakti siddhanta saraswati taksha uh, concert huh? conversation with them clarification like that then when he understood then he realized uh huh? uh then he put it down huh? that's why it's very very powerful deva dharma is a must huh? uh It has Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya 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 Chaitanya, 
భక్తి రసామృత సింధు దశమూల ఉజ్వల నీలామణి పాలిటీషియన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ దే డోంట్ వాంట్ టు లీవ్ కొరానా కొరా టు మేక్ బిజినెస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ లెట్ దెమ్ డూ ఎనీథింగ్ దే వాంట్ బట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి వరీ షుడ్ బి నో ఫియర్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు బాదర్ యూ వన్స్ యూఆర్ స్పిరిచువలీ స్ట్రాంగ్ వన్స్ వీ ఆర్ ది బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ ది guru parampara this thing will not bother us like prahlad uh, maharaj oh lord let the prayer you have appeared in amazing fashion vajra naka vajra dham like diamond like nails and teeth Oh Lord, make my karma vasana, no, destroy it, no, please burn it, vasana, meaning the subtle the, uh, karma, uh, many, many lifetimes, no, the seeds, no, different uh, stages of seeds. so you just try to put fire and once you put fire to the seed it then it will it cannot germ then he says jnana andakara you know the darkness of ignorance you move it far away let abhaya nirbhaya viditava abhaya fearless ah uh, avoid no fear and also we don't cause fear to others you know so that's how our guru parampara was that everybody felt very easy with them you know was able to communicate you know just by the his presence everybody felt ease you know? that means disease was gone right <laughs> if you say in the spelling of disease d i s e a s e is ease no this connection from ease is what the disease no fear is also that you know so everybody felt very easy no easy because you have no envy no love and affection concern for their welfare no uh genuine concern you know no expectation he are suffering he are condition he are full of fear anxiety you know because he doesn't have fear anxiety in their presence we also feel that so he was uh, uh, attracting you were making animals one time we were in badger huh? morning walk i was doing and sun is about to you know is rising just a bit right ah uh, so there are so many cows you know grazing nearby far away you know some cows there some cows there so big land and he started walking and then he can see <laughs> like the dog came running towards him <laughs> so uh <laughs> so why they were running no? they were they were attracted they were saw some love no? 
the, the soul by in their presence, what happens is such a the presence of great Maha, you know, Mahabhagwa, their consciousness. See, our consciousness is five levels of consciousness, right? Uh, covered consciousness. Uh, sankuchita, mukulita, vikasita, purna vikasita, like that. You know? uh, cover, huh? then vikara, huh? then just budding, like that, you know. So, by their thing, they can go up to the, they can bring from cover consciousness to highest, to Vikasita, you know, like a fully open, like a lotus, you know, consciousness. Even though the body will not change, you know, body will not change, but the uh, consciousness. So, like um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's time, see, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going in a thick forest, you know, you can see tigers, lions, you know, elephants, deers. You know. Can you can you imagine a, a deer hugging a lion anywhere? <laughs> it's impossible. Right? You can see a lion attacking deer, right? But hugging, crying, tears coming, flowing. See Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's presence happened. Because you raise their consciousness to the Atma, not to spiritual level. Even though remain in the same body, you know. So they start again crying, tears flowing from themselves. So much. So, uh, like that is. Uh, of course, in the spiritual world, that's what it is. No envy, nothing, you know. All these are uh, on the mental platform, you know, on the false ego, you know. So once that is uh, wiped out, then animals also. So same way, uh, on our Gurudev's presence, see, they all, he attracted those cows making noise, you know. Mm. So, uh, it, Prahlad Maharaj Pratma, you know. Tastistu Vishwasya Kalha Prasidatam Dayantu Bhutani Shiva Mitodhya Manasya Badram Bajata Dadokshade Aveshatam no matirapi hai to ki. Oh Lord, let there be, you know, this is our Guru, you know, the Guru Paramparas. Prahala is our Guru, Guru Parampara. No? So he says, Oh Lord, let there be auspiciousness, entire world. Entire world be auspicious. Let the cruel people give up their cruelty. That includes us also. No? We also might have some cruelty. No? We have to give up. So when others like Mahabhagavad, they pray, we have the capacity to give up. Otherwise we cannot. No? <laughs> See the Guru Parampara, if you press, okay, you can give it up for false or for cruelty. Then it will go away. Otherwise not. Let your ignorance go away. Go far away. It's gone. You know? So like that they, they can come back. That's why he's praying like that. Let the whole world. He's praying for the whole world. Let all the cruel people in the whole world give up their cruelty. You know? Let every living entity think of bringing welfare to other living entities. So when we are thinking, we are not thinking for our welfare, no. Others, 
नाला में और गुरु परंपरा से नॉट थिंकिंग फॉर देम और अदर्स कंप्लीटली ऑल द टाइम यू नो हाउ टू एलिवेट देम हाउ टू मेक देम कृष्ण हाउ टू मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड देयर सफरिंग व्हाट इज हां रियल हैप्पीनेस यू नो हैप्पीनेस इज देयर यू नो पर देयर सर्चिंग मिस गाइडेड एंड हैप्पी Oh, what is 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 thinking that day? So, if every living entity, if every one of us always think, do for the welfare of others, what will be this world? This world will be become spiritual, right? <laughs> Why couldn't I? See, what is couldn't I? Why couldn't I? See, in this in this world. everybody is thinking for ourselves what you know i must be happy i must have this i must control you know my family should be you know. even that is selfish actually why family because you are the thing oh when i get old they will take care of me you know, it's basically selfish this family is centered around is also another kind of extension of selfishness you know, nothing more than that you no know? so so if everybody thinks prays all the time welfare of others what problem will be there do you need a police system <laughs> no law no nothing is required and that's what the spiritual world is like everybody is thinking to please krishna once krishna is pleased everybody is pleased so uh, then manascha bhadra ah uh, let my mind you know not interested uh, anasakti ah uh, in this world any object of this world we should not uh, interest in that you know asakti should not be there you know uh, but our asakti should be in the bhajan bhajan so now the thing is we are interested in the temporary objects of this world that's why our entanglement all this you know any object in this world is temporary they are not permanent they are changing and they are all jada so related to this body and mind not to atma so we are wasting precious time precious energy everything in a wrong direction so guru comes to change our direction understand you no know, hey go in this direction do this way because we have given certain when we appear when we are born in this world certain time of duration of time understand <laughs> so many seconds so many breaths like that you cannot extend one breath how much education how much wealth in you know so we should not worry you know so utilize everything in this human form of life that's why he is coming and reminding us every time every time atato brahma jignasa you have wasted all your life so many lives you know in so many planets precious time He had so many children, husbands, wives, mother, father. You know, so many property. You know, so much technology. You know, but it did not help. You know, you are not happy because there is nothing to do with your heart. So, 
Gurudev comes and reminds us. You know? That's why Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati was very. Don't waste time, you know. Swami Maharaj is saying in the Gandhi movement and all that. You know, it's related. You know? uh, independence for India, all right. But whatever for independence for the, you know, for our soul. You know? So we are in prison. That's why uh, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur says one thing. No one question or not? Uh, he is asking one question. What is answer? Can we is is mind trustworthy or not? Mind is not trustworthy, right? Sure, mind is not trustworthy. Vishwas ghataka. Huh? So why our mind is not, we cannot trust our mind. The okay. whole world is trusting based on mind, right? Why are you saying that? Uh, when it gets a chance, when the mind gets a chance, it will destroy us. <laughs> so, this, uh, he is calling a Pagal mind or Badmash mind, meaning it has uh, out, uh, it has become mind has got the disease of becoming uh, mental, mental meaning, you know, crazy. Huh? He has become crazy, crazy mind, very bad mind. So what he does? Uh, what is the test? Test of the mind is uh, to become servant of you know, anger, greed, you know, these things. Loba, moha, mata, mastara. You know, so, you know, to make us, you know, to be, become angry, to become Mada, you know, master, you know, enviousness, all these things. Mind, mind does, that's, you know, our mind does. For that it has taste. Uh, so, what the mind does is, all the people who are living in this world, uh, uh, it will engage us in the service of Anger, greed, you know, karma, you know, like that. Uh, you know, it will try. You know? So, this Bahir Mukha man, you know, it has, it, it has become Bahir Mukha, meaning away from Krishna, you know, he's in darkness, away from sun. Away from sun meaning darkness. Absence of sun is darkness. Absence of Krishna is my so what it does is Hari Guru Vaishnava, hmm? uh, Supreme Lord Guru and Vaishnava, uh, it will make us vidvesh, meaning not like them, you know, have uh, dislike them. Hmm? In other words, to move away from Guru. Huh? Hari Guru Vaishnava. This is what our mind does. Uh, that's why he says, we should not listen to our mind. We should listen to Sadhu Guru Shastra. Sadhu Guru Shastra. So, uh, but the thing is, this is what Guru, uh, Guru Parampara is saying. Maneva Manishana, you know, uh, Shreya and Priya. You know? uh, now he is further telling uh, 
why yeah not everybody is listening to the true story satya katha no the reality huh? see people go to see movies <laughs> no no what they present in movies is it something new or anything is what is going on in the society you know they put some you know masala meaning some you know something and then they are showing and people are watching so completely waste of time and the effect is they are further indulging in their in their materialistic things you know that's all it does it's not taking us away no. see that's... so uh that's why why the question is asked why people instead of going on movies why not for arikata no? uh, why they are not listening no? to the reality to real reality no? this so what is this is true this is really true uh because why he says the truth is is preya not shreya ha kyunki satya katha preya nahi nahi shreya satya katha is preya nahi shreya meaning preya meaning you know enjoy in kind of you no know? or it looks nice to my senses i can enjoy it you no know? sense gratification immediate being happy no? happy in other words bringing happiness to the senses because the true satya katha is not bringing happiness to the senses right away they are not interested that is a stray ah uh, you know like prahlad maharaj try you know plan you no know, pray that everybody think bringing it you know aspiciousness to others you know so in this material world if somebody is unhappy they will be more happy you know see this is what mentality is huh? so opposite of so kitne uh, there are so many uh, dharma veer karma veer ah uh, 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 so people are engaged in this you know this materialistic thing so to bring them out of this intoxication you have to spend so much blood you know uh even then there will be very few people who can listen huh? oh huh? you have to have a good samskara you know upbringing No. in other words you have to have a sadhu sangha guru uh you no know, vaishnavas mercy uh uh if if good samskara is not there uh and his aspicious is not there then to listen to krishna katha uh, uh they don't have desire no see they don't have desire that's why guru comes you know you know krishna was krishna seva vasana you know to saru krishna that desire to saru krishna so to saru des- uh, krishna desire to saru krishna uh, he puts into our heart so this shreya and preya huh? uh that is there for him must to uh uh you know it, it takes shelter of 
human, yeah? man. Fourth, Shreya, the path of auspicious, auspiciousness, Shreya. Priya, the path of indulging in the senses, sense gratification. Huh? But the intelligent person, huh? one who understands the both tattva, huh? path of auspiciousness and the path of gratification, sense gratification, huh? he concludes that the path of auspiciousness uh, is path of auspiciousness, it can elevate us, it can uh, mukti, it can liberate us. And the path of sense gratification, indulgence, it will make us into bondage. Uh, it will bind us to this world. It will bind us to these three material modes. You know? uh, avidya. No. So, uh, like that. Huh? So, one who is fortunate, huh? her son will give up this path of sense indulgence and then he will take shelter of the path of auspiciousness. One who has no, uh, in this, you know, Discriminative power. Huh? Uh, so what he prays? He is praying for few things. You know things. You know what? Uh, things is very difficult to get. Oh Lord, I want that. You know, vehicle or something. Very very difficult to get. And also he is praying. Oh Lord, protect whatever I have, material thing. No? So, uh, he is praying for that. So, but the Shastra is saying, Treya, huh? uh, Shastra is telling, one who wants to listen to, the people who wants to listen, the path of auspiciousness will be very less. If two or three, two or four are available, uh, even many of them who listen to that, uh, they may not put into practice. Huh? So, so another thing is a Shreya Vishaya, huh? one who is expert in the Path of auspiciousness, the, de the details, no? uh, no, preaching of that. Uh, that kind of speaker is very less in this world. So, so by the mercy of Krishna, if one very fortunate to obtain such a personality, you know, one who shows the path of auspiciousness, such an acharya, huh? we have to take shelter huh? under his guidance. Huh? Uh, taking shelter of such a great personality huh? under his anugatya is also very rare, even <laughs> Durla. You know, okay. Uh, one who is not mira peksha, huh? uh, expectation, huh? not to. So such a kind of uh, mi millions of uh, teachers uh, yes, go to Maharaj. Huh? Uh, if you tell the truth, there will be somebody who will accept huh? such a truth. Huh? So, so that's why Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Thakur you know, is telling that we need to spend uh, 
go and preach this Satyaka, this Shreya, path of auspiciousness, huh? every day. Uh, without that, uh, uh, and if one accepts it, one becomes, then he says it's much more than building millions of hospitals. So, to relieve one person, to bring into this path of auspiciousness. In other words, that's why the, see, the Supreme Lord will not uh, entangle in our freedom, the, the freedom of Jiva. No? There's a minute, Anu, Anu, freedom. Independent, independent as for the jiva's soul. To do service or not to do service. And come under yoga maya or maha maya. No, that's all thing. So that he will not force, but he will give you the knowledge. Hey, look, if you go in that path, what happens? If you go in this path, what happens? Ultimately, that we have to choose. No? That independent. You will not force. He must become devotee, like that there is no force. Or he must become conditioned by the Maya, he does not force. There is no force. But he will give you knowledge through Guru Parampara, Guru Shastra, that if you do like this, it happens like that. So, uh, that's why sometimes we don't know what is auspiciousness for ourselves? That's why Guru comes and then tells by his own example, by his own thing. You know, he will convince us. You know, uh, he will give you, uh, uh, he will guarantee you, okay? <laughs> I will take you, you know, uh, don't worry, I will take you back. You know, I've come from, our Guru Dai used to say, you know, I can take you to Golok Vrindavan. You know. uh, I've come from there, so don't worry. But after coming there, what he will do? He should, he should get trained for that. I will take you. So, like that, you are so confident. But, I will tell you like that. So, this is amazing. You know? Acharyas, um, Our time is up uh, because today I was late. <laughs> Please forgive me for that. Mancha kalpatu bhyascha kipas in the bhyascha patitanam pavani kya vishnu So, 1st of February, so we will pass times of Guru Dev and continue. There is so much unlimited pass times. Any questions? Can you hear me well? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. Um, you mentioned that mind is the cause for all calamities. Is there any advice how to control the mind? My, we have to engage the mind, you know, otherwise it will engage us. It will engage us in this, um, like, six enemies, you know. Uh, Mada Master Mo, you know, Kama Krodha, Mada Master Mo. So, we have to engage in the mind and thinking of Lord, you know. So, 
it should be directed it should be directed uh, by higher intelligence you know intelligence should be strong guided by the guru sadhana shakti so it's like a you can imagine a baby mother is taking a baby to the marketplace baby is asking mommy i want this i want this i want this i want this i don't want this you know sankalpa bika determination mind is like that you know but the baby itself has no power of purchase mother has to <laughs> purchase for the baby so if the mother let sin if she says okay you can have this you can have this you can have this you can have. then she is finished then baby is controlling the mother right finish so same way the mother in this case is our buddhi no? guided by no this guru sadhana shastra should be there must be strong i lizard it is good for you it is not good for you to be strong then the baby it will listen you know it will come along with what the mother because it has no capacity of buying itself you know it's only demanding you know so you should not let in uh, that's why uh, see you have to watch for the mind eh? you know it, it will bring all these things uh, so many proposals <laughs> you know it is attractive you know from you know because it's only business is that you know take us away from like bhakti sansar stuff so what krishna says abhyasena you know constant practice and detachment you know detachment uh, in other words we should not be anxious desire to get objects of this world you know uh, we should know that none of these objects will bring us satisfaction happiness so mind business is like that so once that is once you say hey no you know this is not good for you then it will you know it will listen to you what is say see you cannot kill the mind mind is essential maneva manusha bandhamukha we have to make our mind subservient you know we should not lead us the lead us we should, you know the intelligence should lead the mind huh? should guide the mind you should not become you should not go under the guidance of the mind that's what it is you know mind should be guided you should not take the guidance of the mind you should not let the mind go in the front huh? you should follow huh? uh, because we have to work through the senses understand the mind is the king of all the senses so we are in this body we need the help of the mind uh, but it should not be the leader you know it should not lead the, the intelligence guided by the anugatya of the guru sadhana shastra you know so uh, then mind will will listen become pacified so that means what we have to keep chanting all the time you know here if we engage the ear if we are listening right uh, you know sweetly you know you say chant sweetly listen huh? when we listen when we give attention to the what we are saying to the name attention that then mind is caught see mind has to listen then it is engaged in hearing the naam and then it gets uh, you know purified you know you like a cow you know see suppose there's a cow you leave it free it will keep on grazing here and there it thinks oh far away is the green grass it goes there again there's another green there like that you know walks away 
by that time it is gone a long time you know long far away but if you tie up the cow to a post tie up and then what happens the cow will be doing like that you know all around that post it will be it will be satisfied it will not be doing anything so same way we should be tied up our mind to the listening to the holy name uh, is Lila, Guna, uh, Rupa, you know, all these pastimes, and the Vaishnavas and the pastimes of Guru, you know, great Acharyas are so many are there, you know, amazing pastimes. Jayadev Goswami is, you know, appearance, disappearance is coming. So that's why we discuss these Acharyas, life histories, you know. So we have so much. Wealth, uh, so much knowledge, so much we can think of. Uh, we can think of, uh, make mind, you know, uh, remembering those things. Then, uh, it is, but it is you know, constant practice and detachment. We should not be disturbed. Oh, my mind this way went away this way. Arjuna was saying, it is very difficult to control the wind. What to speak of mind? Mind is even more subtler than the sound. The mind is very, is even more subtler than the ether. Imagine, right? We have earth, water, fire, air, ether. Occurs. It is more, you know, what is ether? What is the, how? Uh, sukshma, very, you know, very, uh, very subtle. Huh? How subtle? The ether will go through electron. Electron will not know. You no, know, you understand? <laughs> ether will pass through electron. Electron will not get. So the mind is even more subtler than that. You know, very fine. But it's still material. No? By its, that's why it is material. It does no because it is material and it is not. It is jada, but it's it is alive. Seems like alive because it is in the in the vicinity of the soul. No? It gets empowered. You know, see. So. And it is not in the interest of the soul, no? it's working. To do that, we have to engage in the transcendental no? name, name, like that. But it is a constant practice and detachment. Without detachment, no attachment. No? We have attached to so many things, that's why it's called detachment. We have to get detached. No? Uh, we are wrongly attached, wrongly attracted. You know, I am female, I am male, I am this, I am that, I own this, I like this, you know, all this. We have to detach. There is no connection, uh, you know, there is no reality, but we are thinking like that, you know. Uh, that's why the Krishna says constant practice and detachment. Both has to go together. We should not, oh, I failed miserably, oh, I will give it up. No. How many times child will, will try to walk? It's falling so many times, but still it's not giving up, right? The same way, we have failed in so many lives, okay? But if you take one strong help, like Guru Parampara, you know, Guru, uh, he will make you, you know, he will teach you how to walk, how to walk out of this. You know. So uh, you have to remember that, you know, the, remembering the name, remembering Mahabhava, the Guru, that will give us strength. Just by remembering alone, 
the we can get out of the shackle of the mind you know so mind is not strong the name of you know the, the teachings of guru are you know, very very powerful you know, no match so we have we have equipped with so much uh you know we have so many weapons in our hand to deal with this we can easily defeat it you know uh we should not get surrendered to the mind mind should surrender to us to the buddhi <laughs> are krishna are krishna 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 are 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 ram are ram 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 are 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 krishna hai krishna guru ke dhanyawad karam maharaj once more request from you maharaj We want your blessing we want to start to read this book madhura kadamini book mm. one blessing from you and okay. maraj and if vishnu dai to maraj can help us in hosting it please maraj okay okay sure yeah i'm okay. very very okay. 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 maraj for two years ago when i was in, when i was there in the mat uh, vishnu dai to maraj started reading that book He gave us so much of nectar, but he stopped. Now we want him back to continue reading to us, please, Marat. Okay. And we request him, please give us the blessing. Please, yeah, yeah, sure. Huh? <laughs> Marat, then you kindly ask Vishnu Dai to Marat to start yeah. with us. So will... at least once a week, Marat, we can have a reading class for one hour, please. Okay, okay, I will do. It. Huh? Huh? I will request Marat to do. It. Oh, this should be Maharaj. Maharaj is there. Oh, okay. Dando what Paran wish to write to Maharaj. Come on, Maharaj. Oh, wish to write to Maharaj. Would you like to say anything? You're on mute at the moment. Uh, we should just mark if you tap your screen at the bottom the icons will come up and then you will see a mic and you can unclick and it will unmute you oh dandavat dandavat param smarat dandavat 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 sare krishna hari krishna maraj at last we got you we got you now with guru's <coughs> mercy you have to start reading to us and give us that mercy please yeah i actually in the madhura kadambini i was giving classes in ranganath gaudiya math Uh -huh. And then uh, it stopped. But it's a very good book, actually, Madhuri Kadambi. Yeah, then you must start again now. You must start from the beginning. There's so many of us are interested in want to get yet, Maharaj. Please. Yeah, actually, I um, I will have to study a little bit also mm. Mm -hmm. because um, it is told that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself is the speaker of this book, Madhuri Kadambi. Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur he wrote the book. But actually, mm -hmm. as Maharaj said that Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur was only the pen, and the real scribe was writer was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So basically, Madhurya Kadambini means the cloud bank of nectar. Many clouds we shower the nectar. And Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur is so humble. He says that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the cloud bank of nectar, and I am like a tree in the desert. So. So basically this book talks about the progression of devotional service starting from shraddha then um, nishtha ruchi asakti bhav and it talks about removal of anarthas like there are different types of anarthas sukruti uttha anartha dushkruti uttha anartha aparad uttha anartha bhakti uttha anartha so these anarthas they are um, the cause that so many bad thoughts come in our mind when we are chanting the holy name so the only key is that if bad thoughts come in chanting the holy name we have to ignore those thoughts and keep on chanting slowly slowly those thoughts will subside from the those thoughts will subside very slowly understand 
it is very very important that we study this book so i'm very happy i would not mind reading the reading this book but the thing is i use that tab and uh, when i switch to the pdf version then the video gets off you know it may go into audio mode anyways but you will be able to hear the audio huh? so i will uh, whenever you request me i will start discussing magre kadambini understand it's a very very important book the gurudev i remember gave so many classes on magre kadambini and these classes um, i heard in 2006 2007 when the book came out i helped also in translation of this book to some but some degree editing and uh, it is now published in english language so all of you should download a copy from purebhakti.com uh, pdf format or kindle format um, and um, i think it should be also part of the bhakti base on ipad to the ipad or so bhakti base cost little money at this yaar the money 2 dollars 5 dollars have it all please read the book carefully and then we'll start on please let me know the time sometimes i travel but we can suddenly once a week we can gather you know, and, and to discuss once a week or even more if you want but at least once a week we'll discuss this madhurya kadambini hmm. because uh, madhurya means human like sweetness there is aishwarya and madhurya aishwarya cannot aishwarya cannot control krishna but madhurya can control him <clears throat> so madhurya means human like sweetness basically understand so the human like sweetness of krishna and madhurya yashoda is dealing with him in mood of madhurya sweetness so therefore this madhurya kadambini book is very wonderful विश्वस्य नाथ रूपोसो भक्ति वर्त प्रदर्शनात भक्त चक्रे वर्त तत्वा चक्रवर्ताख्या भवत दैट विश्वस्य नाथ रूपोसो ही इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ द एंटायर यूनिवर्स विश्वस्य नाथ रूपोसो भक्ति वर्त प्रदर्शनात एंड ही शोइंग द पाथ ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस टू द होल वर्ल्ड दैट्स व्हाई ही इज द गुरु ऑफ द होल वर्ल्ड दैट्स व्हाई इज कॉल्ड विश्वनाथ मास्टर मींस समथिंग नॉट वन हु कंट्रोल्स और चैस्टाइजेस but master means one who guides the mankind laymen common people ignorant people so that's why vishwanath and is always surrounded by the devotees he is the one like shiva dandi maharaj told that how balde vidya bhushan pad wrote govind bhashya and govind himself inspired him to write the commentary on vedanta sutra but who sent him to galta gaddi to protect the dignity of gaudiya vaishnavism it was shri vishnath chandra thakur pad and <clears throat> so that's why he is the protector and guardian of our sampradaya and through the medium of balde vidya bhushan he because the shri vaishnavas they wanted to remove radharani from the, the side of shri chaitanya maha from shri from govinda dev <clears throat> so that time they told that this is not an authentic sampradaya because there is no commentary of vedanta sutra in your sampradaya so who is balde vidya bhushan pad like just like shiva dandi maharaj told in the class that chaitanya mahaprabhu he told sarvam bhattacharya that i understand vedanta sutra but i do not understand your explanation understand because what sarvam bhattacharya tried to establish was vivartavad what is vivartavad i am a spirit soul i am not this body but when i superimpose upon myself the conception that i am this body then that is vivartavad or counterclockwise nature but what he was telling what they were telling sarvam bhattacharya was telling that we are brahma and we are now covered by maya so we are actually jiva we think we are jiva so he was preaching the philosophy of shankaracharya brahmam satya jagan mithya jiva brahmaiva na para so mahaprabhu he heard silently what he was telling for seven days he didn't speak a word but then mahaprabhu very strongly rebuffed his version when he asked him to he told mahaprabhu to speak dvasta sarva bhauma vada navya tarka shankaram 
स्वस्तवादानवीयडंबरम दर्शिताथ सर्वशास्त्र कृष्ण भक्ति मंदिर प्रेम धाम देव मेव नौमी बहुर सुंदर महाप्रभु डिस्ट्रॉइड इज डिमोनिया ओपिनियन वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डिमोनिया बिकॉज दिस ओपिनियन वॉज प्रोपगेटेड बाय रावण एंड ऑल्सो बाय हिरण्य कश्यपू दिस वॉज प्रोपगेटेड बाय चारबाग वॉज अ गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ दुर्योधन दिस वॉज द ओपिनियन प्रोपगेटेड बाय काल नेमी who incarnated as kamsa and later on he came again who entered into the body of shankaracharya uh, as per the version of madhvacharya madhva sampradaya that kalnemi was speaking this mayavad philosophy shankaracharya is a pure devotee of krishna he is a sh- shankara shankara sakshat he cannot speak such nonsense philosophy but inside him there was a demon like we say split personality right <clears throat> so kalnemi was speaking this wrong philosophy to him so mahaprabhu he cut to pieces the argument of sarom bhattacharya and then mahaprabhu made him a pure devotee sarom bhattacharya so what commentary mahaprabhu spoke of vedan sutra was heard very carefully by the brother in law of shri sarom bhattacharya sarom bhattacharya had brother in law by the name gopinath acharya gopinath acharya is the uh, brother of sarom's wife means that is madron uncle so sarom bhattacharya he heard the vedan sutra and gopinath acharya also heard from mahaprabhu and the same gopinath acharya reincarnated after a, a few de- uh, several decades and he wrote this govinda bhashya understand so <clears throat> the speaker of govinda bhashya is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so sarom bhattacharya he was so converted to vaishnavism he became a pure devotee and then he told that i know all the six theistic philosophies of india india has six six theistic philosophy like the opinion of kanad cha kanad and others and he told that nyatam kaana bhujam matam parichitair anvikshiti shikshita mimamsa viritaiv sankhya sarni veda nyatam kaana bhujam matam parichitair anvikshiti shikshita mimamsa viritaiv sankhya sarni yoga vikirnamati vedanta parishilita sarvasam kintu swaran madhuri धारा काचन मंद सुन मुरली मच्चित आकर्षति दट मै माइंड इज नाउ अट्रैक्टेड बाय द ब्यूटिफुल फ्लू सॉन्ग ऑफ कृष्णा आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द अटोमिक थियरी ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ कणा आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द योग ऑफ पतंजलि बिकॉज दीज ऑल फिलोसॉफी पतंजलि वॉट इज टेलिंग इन योग सूत्र दैट विष्णु साहित्य देर इज टू टाइप ऑफ साहित्य मर्जिंग इन द ब्रह्म एंड मर्जिंग इन विष्णु बट Merging in Brahma is also despicable, but even more despicable is to merge in Vishnu. Because Vishnu has so much variety, so much beauty, so many wonderful uh, sweetness, and this why not enjoying that sweetness, we want to lose our identity by merging in Vishnu. Very bad. So, Sarumbatta just rejected all the uh, philosophies of yoga and others, and he accepted pure Krishna Bhakti. Understand? So, Vishwanath Jagat Thakur is sent Balde Vidya Bhushan Pad and protected Gaudi Vaishnavism. And Vishwanath Jagat Thakur was a Rasik Vaishnav. Understand? So Krishna is Rasa. Krishna is what? Is Rasa. Raso Vaisha. Raso M Y A M L A T A N. So Krishna is the emporium of all the mellows, the mood of friendship, mood of parental affection. Means Yashoda shows parental affection to him. Rather, I mean, has so much love and affection for Krishna, but he is Akhila Rasamrita Murthy. Hmm. That is confirmed in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Uh, but who can understand him? Only Rasik Vaishnavas can understand him. Hmm. Akhila Rasamrita Murthy, Prasurma Rochirudha Taraka Padi, Kalita Shamala Lalito Radha Priya and Vidur Jayati. Krishna is controlled by, uh, especially Radha Rani. There are so many other gopis who are trying to control him, swapaksha, vipaksha, srutpaksha, tatasta. But among them, no one can control Krishna like Radha Rani. Understand? And this Vishnu Jyoti Thakur Pad is the pure devotee, is the manjari of Radha Rani. So therefore, he can tell us the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who has the heart of Radha Rani. And that's why this book, I think, is very very important. Gurudev gave so much, he put so much hard work to publish this Hindi version. 
So it is our duty to study these books. And my good fortune that they are asking me to speak about this. I will continue from uh, next time. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we should uh, study very carefully Madhura Kadambini, all of us, and become avoid the Vaishnava Aparad. Basically, Aparad means what? Apagata Radha Rudhyat Asmaditi Aparada. Means that when the bliss of devotional service vanishes from our heart, that is called Aparad. So, what are different Aparads? And what are the unearths that are caused by Aparad? Which, what obstacles come in the Sadhaka's life due to Aparad? That is in great detail and also the means by which we can get rid of Aparad that is also discussed in Sri Madhuri Kadamini. Because many times they talk about 10 offenses. But what is the remedial action a devotee can take in order to counteract the offenses? Uh, which kind of uh, <clears throat> stop the development of his creeper of devotion? So what is the creeper of devotion? What type of leaves it yields? Understand. And what is the nature of those leaves? Like this very detail he has explained. Huh? Like <clears throat> Kleshagni Shubhada. Mm. Devotional of Creeper, the first two leaves are Kleshagni and Shubhada. Klesha means all the Adivaudit, Adhyatmic, Adhidevi Kleshas. The misery is caused by your own mind and body. Misery is caused by other living entities. Misery is imposed upon you by the demigods and demigoddesses. They go away even at the outset of devotional service. And everyone will start loving you. Even the dogs, like Maharaj was telling, I was also present in Badger with Maharaj that time, that Guru Maharaj was walking on the farm side and there was a fence, barbed fence in Badger, New Braj. And oh, their cows started dancing and you know jumping and moving, seeing Guru Dev. Now the cows have very, as Maharaj said, that very lower degree of consciousness, very covered or contracted consciousness. But they could say that this personality can stop our, um, he can redeem us from the cycle of repeated birth and death. Although we are destined to go to slaughterhouse and we are going to be the meal of ruthless people, but still, because we have behold this great personality and he has witnessed him chanting Japa on his beards, this is our last lifetime of suffering. We will definitely get a next birth as a human birth or a devotee family. Understand? So the cows were celebrating. Understand? Means that is the quality Radharani has and also Gurudev has. Oh. Like <clears throat> one time Krishna left Braj and Radharani was suffering in his separation. So Radharani, she covered her body by the yellow shawl of Krishna. And that time she sat near Jamuna and she began to weep loudly in separation of Krishna. The yellow shawl of Krishna, instead of mitigating her separation, it actually enhanced it million times. So when the fish in the water heard the crying of Radharani, the fish also began to cry. Understand? So I mean the fish, they have such low level of consciousness, but they are not ordinary fish. They are the fish of Vrindavan. So Tirashchamapi Rodanam, this is one quality of um, Mohanakya Mahabhav. And Gurudev being a part and parcel of Radharani, and especially there are two types of Gurus. <laughs> The gurus who are the Kayavya of Balaram means who are coming from Balaram and there are gurus who are coming from directly from Radharani. And our Gurudev is directly coming from Radharani. Understand? So therefore, therefore we should study this Madhuri Kadavri. Understand? Uh, who is Vishnachari Thakur. Shila Gurudev was always having so much respect for Vishnachari Thakur. Especially Bhaktidhar Sai Maharaj. He wrote his Bhagavad Gita as it is based on the commentary of Baldavidya Bhushan Bhatt. It was based on Tattva. But for Rasa, Srila Gurudev consulted and translated the commentary of Srila Vishnachari Thakur Pad. Also the 10th canto of Bhagavatam, Srila Gurudev always read from the commentary of Vishnachari Thakur Pad. Because um, Vishnachari Thakur, very Rasi question. Second, some people say that he is the second manifestation of Rupa Goswami. Understand? Everyone likes to see beautiful things. Everyone likes to see the beauty. As Shakespeare said, Thing of beauty, joy forever. So Rupa means beauty. And everything in this material world is actually antonym of beauty. Actually everything in the material world is ugly. Uh, only rasa, there are five main mellows in the spiritual world. And there are seven 
secondary mellows in the spiritual world. But in the material world, there is no main mellow. There is no primary mellow. And there is only one secondary mellow, and that is the mellow of disgust. That is called Divatsaras. Understand? Yadavadi mama cheta Krishna padara vinde navanavarsa dhamani uddatam rantum asit tadavati vata nari sangha me smaryamane bhavati mukha vikara sushtho nishthi vanam cha. Yamanacharya says that when I am thinking of sweet pastimes of Krishna and that time if any materialistic thought comes in my mind of sense enjoyment I spit at that thought. The only rush in this material world is Divatsaras. So Madhurya Kadambini means so much nectar is showered by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Understand? So, and who is causelessly merciful? Causelessly merciful means Krishna also. Krishna also has sees some qualification. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doesn't see any qualification. Patra patra vicharanam na kurute na swamparam vikshate deya devi marshako nahi nava kala pratiksha prabhu Sadhoya Sharvanekshara Panaman Dhyana Adiram Durlavam Dhatte Bhakti Rasam Seva Bhagavan Gaurakparam Megati. As soon as you bow down to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and offer him a flower, which is called Suman in Sanskrit, your mana, your mind will become purified. Understand? Like Maharaj was talking that how to control the mind. So, how the obstacles will be removed from devotional service. So, I have heard very nice shloka, which is very popular in Madhva speakers. Apada Mauli Paryantam Gurunam Akrutim Smaret Yena Vignani Pranashanti Siddhantishya Manoratha means we should always meditate on the beautiful form of our Gurudev in the mind. Right from his lotus feet he is till his head. Understand? And by that alone all your obstacles in the devotional service will vanish and all your desires will be fulfilled. Understand? So Maharaj also telling that mind is very strong. Maya is also very strong, but not more powerful than Guru. Understand? So we immediately we should remember our Guru Dev. Understand? Yechai Gosai Kori Charadavandana Jahai Tevidanash Avishtapura. When we remember Shri Rupa Goswami or our Guru Maharaj, who is a pure representative of Rupa Goswami, oh, all obstacles will vanish. So we should never and never forget. The moment we forget Hari Guru and Vaishnavas, oh, obstacles will start coming. So the forgetfulness of Guru Vaishnavas is the root cause of all the anarthas and obstacles and remembrance of Guru Vaishnavas and their instruction is the source of all the auspicious things. So, today very auspicious day, Srila Bhakti Kumar Santa Goswami Maharaj uh, appearance day, I think. Huh? So, we will certainly uh, start very soon on Madhuri Kadambini. Uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Guru. Hare Krishna, thank you, Guru. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. You let me know when we start, Maharaj, I will ask everyone in the group when they would like to start. Yeah, because everyone, everyone should have convenient countries time. Got some devotees. Yeah, yeah. Everyone should have convenient timing. So yes. I will also have to see my convenience because I am also traveling. But now yes. I am, you know, but one hour is not a very big deal. I understand. Uh, okay. And if but then Marat, sometimes the day is suitable for you, Marat. The day and time. But the time will be in the yes. afternoon, Marat, but most of them will be available. Uh, afternoon time, yeah. For Indian afternoon time, yeah, we are free. Because morning, yes. I am Tirupati, I go for Nagar Kirtan. And um, yes. evening also Kirtan and Agnihotra. So afternoon is always free. So you adjust okay. this for, uh, you know, with respect to South African time and communicate to the. But it might be midnight for Americans. That may be a problem, you know. So. Yes, ma'am. You check, you check, you tell me. I will try to. Uh, schedule a class based on your convenience rather than my convenience. Understand? Because we have, we should not be, you know, you hard time to Americans also. Understand? Yes. Find time, Edith? which is like... Uh, Would you let not like Maharaj know the time is available for? Uh, Adilet? Pardon? Maharaj, I'm talking about Adilet. She's from America with her time zone. Yeah, I know her. I, I've been introduced to her by Facebook and, uh, you know, She's yes, doing Maharaj. Deva also. Very nice. Yeah. Very good. I'm so happy that um, she's hearing the class and all. So many, I think, uh, Bimal Prabhu and all are, you yes. know, Tarun Krishna and all, no, so many names I know and uh, uh, they're uh, hearing Anup the class. Maharaj, Anup and Nicole is two new uh? devotees. Anup and Nicole, they are two new devotees that uh, joined us. Yeah, yeah. I hope they are 
understanding what i'm speaking otherwise i'll use even simpler language <coughs> <coughs> but shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati prabhupad used to use very heavy language very difficult language then they told him can't you see speak in simple english then he said that if i speak in a very simple english they will not have enough respect for me understand means they should have some awe and reverence for the spiritual master they should realize that he is <laughs> great then yes. that's why he used to speak and even the native english speakers and britishers used to sit with a dictionary in his classes they could they yes. could not fathom the words he was using understand but anyways um, if someone is sick like param gurudev's devotee was sick then they took him to a doctor they told doctor that this devotee cannot digest even water so give him some medicine the medicine he gave was ghee he said drink one spoon of ghee every day a teaspoon of ghee and param gurudev retorted he said what is this he cannot digest even water you are giving him ghee which is extremely hard to digest doctor said just do as i say so param gurudev gave ghee to that devotee after some time he recovered so param gurudev asked him what is the secret of giving ghee the doctor told that his intestinal walls had become extremely dry and as a result no food and nutrition was sticking to the intestinal walls so when i gave him the ghee the ghee is very sticky and that caused some uh, <clears throat> some polish and some stickiness and the food and nutrition started to stick there but most of the ghee would pass through his system he couldn't retain it mm. but after some time due to the presence of ghee other food stuffs he could uh, digest and reconcile so uh, some high class may go above us but still something will stick understand like when gurudev used to speak sometimes we not understand that time i remember like he spoke um, uh, gopi geet or ras panchadhyay and also he spoke prema vivarta and prema sampur uh, but now after some years of study and all uh, we now you know remember what gurudev used to say hmm. then so that will stick with you that sanskar will happen what is the sanskar you have a well and that you are drawing the water from that well without a pulley so you are simply pulling the rope from the wall around the wall on the well so after some time there will be a depression will be formed in the wall because of the const- constant friction with the rope that depression is called sanskar so the f- those who come to draw water later on they will find easier to pull the water because there is a depression and it has smoothened out it is polished by repeated scratching of the rope so sanskar means that slowly slowly it will start sticking not in one day you will understand it and what mara is telling but this hearing is very very important understand don't um, underestimate the value of hearing hearing is the most important shravanam tatraiva ganga yamuna cha tatra godavari tatra saraswati cha sarvani tirthani vasanti tatra yatra chuto dar katha prasanga all the holy waters like ganga and yamuna converge in the place where hari katha is going on and aho aho virna kale viduyate sudha sudhara madhuram pade pade dine dine chandana chandra shitalam yesho yesho datane sigye when you hear the sweet sweet past times of vishudan and krishna the obstacles of kaliyuga will not bother you ha ah. so hari katha is the safest place to be in in this kaliyuga no obstacles will come no miseries will come to you if you simply hear the hari katha very nicely हरे हरे कृष्णा 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 धन्यवाद थैंक 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 यू 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 वन क्वेश्चन प्लीज वन एंड हैव दीक्षा इज येट मार्ज वेन वी डू ऑफरिंग टू द लॉर्ड what uh, mantra do they say cuz as we say um, our gopa mantra now gayatri so what do they say as they don't have diksha yet so can you please actually, elaborate on that actually gurudev he gave us that mantra uh, you know that we don't offer with gopal mantra as such the mantra actually for offering uh, that which gurudev gave us is written in uh, archan dipika understand i can for that book is free from download understand 
and elaborate process of making an offering is given in the book called Archan Deepika. That book is free for download. So it is in public domain. Whether initiated or not initiated, they can read that book and start making an offering. I will post or you can email me. I will put, give the relevant, uh, you know, or download the PDF and go to the section how to make an offering. Understand? But in ISKCON, this, this, the, our, what we are taught, O oh, Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamiti Namini. Gurudev said, this is the Pranam Mantra for Gurudev. This is not the offering mantra. Understand? So Srila Gurudev told that um, we should use the proper procedure given in Archan Deepika. Understand? Whether you are initiated or not initiated. If the books are in public domain, it means anyone can chant the mantras. Understand? Efficacy will differ, obviously, because if you are reading from the book, you know, the, book, the effect will be less. But still, there will be an effect. Understand? Whether you are initiated or not initiated, Gurudev told that if there is a Tulsi, Krishna has to accept. There is no other way. Because Tulsi is a pure devotee. Understand? So, don't worry. Uh, read the Archan Deepika. Huh? Elaborate process is given. How to offer to Radha Krishna. See, offering to Radha Krishna separate mantra. Offering to Jagannath also separate mantra. What is your vigraha uh, there? That is depends. Rittanda also different mantra. Gauravita different mantra. Understand? So, like this. Depending on what deity you have, nursing other different mantra. It will not be the same mantra for everyone. There will be Mula Mantra. Huh? It will be like Etat Naivedyam and Mula Mantra of your deity. Understand? Etat means, Sanskrit means, this is the food for you. Naivedyam means offered food. Nivedan, Naivedyam. Understand? So, and the Mula Mantra of that deity has to be chanted. Understand? That is given in Archana Deepika. Understand? And so, uh, that mantra has to be used. Basically, it is human-like transaction. Some guest will come to our house, like Maharaj will come, Dandi Maharaj. Maharaj, please come, wash your, I will wash your feet, then give some mouth so Maharaj can wash his mouth, and then we'll give him Maharaj a seat, then we'll offer the food to Maharaj, then when Maharaj finishes prasadam, we'll give him some water to drink, that is called paniya in Sanskrit. Then we'll give him some water to wash his hands, uh, like this, and then we'll offer him something. Uh, um, so, like we treat a guest, we treat Krishna. It is more like a human transaction. It is not to be like, it doesn't need a nuclear scientist to make an offering. Understand? Think that Krishna has come to your home, Radha with Radha Rani or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What you will do, that you have to do in a logical sequence, but chant the mantra in Sanskrit. But Krishna is knows all the languages. Understand? It not only, you know. So you can tell Krishna, please, if you don't know any mantra, you can still say Krishna, please sit down. Please honor the food I have cooked for you. Please wash your hands. Please, you know, <laughs> that he, he has to. He has to because, you know, if we can understand English, why he cannot understand English? Understand? Even if you don't know any mantras, you can make offering with the simple English. Understand? So that is, Mahaprabhu, he understood the languages of even the birds. Understand? When Mahaprabhu went to <clears throat> Vrindavan, he heard the conversation between the male and female parrot. So, the male and female parrot was talking. Ka Krishna sa pranay janivu shrimati radhikaika. Ka sa prayasam anupama goda radhikaika na chanya. Like this. Shari ka shu kokta kautu kadhya lascha lapitam radhika vyatita kama deva kama mohitam. So, the male, the, the male parrot is telling that Krishna is Madan Mohan. And then female parrot was telling that he is Madan Mohan only because Radharani is standing by, by his left side. Otherwise, he would be Madan Mohan. Hmm. <clears throat> Yadabhati Radha Sange Tada Madan Mohana Ayatha Vishwa Mohopi Swayam Swayam Madan Mohita. So Mahaprabhu was very happy uh, hearing the reply of female parrot. So he can understand the language of the male and female parrot. He can understand the language of the tigers and lions and deer. He told them to chant Hare Krishna in their language. So why cannot understand English or Hebrew or any other language? You know? So he will understand, but provided you have love and affection. But even if there is no love and affection, seeing Tulsi, he will have to accept. Understand? But better to chant the Sanskrit mantras. Understand? So that are given in Archar Deepika. If any questions are there, I will put it. I can email you that relevant section. So you are able to make the proper offering even before initiation. Understand?
because that book is very very important hmm. Hmm. Achan Deepika. read it very carefully you should learn all the mantras how to pluck tulsi how to ask forgiveness from tulsi how to do parikrama of tulsi what mantra to chant uh, like iskon they chant yani kani cha papani brahma hatya dikani cha tani tani prana shanti pradakshina pade pade every step you start to memorize tulsi billions and billions of brahma hatyas the sins of killing brahmanas will go away but in gaudiya mat this mantra is discouraged why because you are going to a very big king and you ask him only for one uh, one one meter cloth then that king will say this is an offense to me you have come to a very big emperor of the whole universe and you are asking only one meter cotton cloth you ask something which is suitable for my dignity so you go to the best sakhi of krishna and you ask her forgive my offenses or my, my sins no we shouldn't ask like that we should ask her she can give us radha krishna prem manjari bhav and everything and why ask for just removal of the sins because removal of the sins is a negative connotation understand but when you get bhakti automatically sins will go away you don't have to ask separate emancipation from sins we should only ask from her bhakti bhaktya vihina aparadh lakshya kshiptasya kamari taranga madhye krupa mai tvam sharanam prapanna vrande namaste charanare right like gurudev was telling you call ganga maiya ki jai yamuna maiya ki jai this is fine if you are not initiated you are from some other sampradaya you are no sambandha gyan kulsi maiya ki jai but gurudev was telling that you call her yamuna devi why visha vishakhor siya vishnu yasya nitya jalatmani nityam nimajati pritya tam sauriyam yamunam stuma baldev vidyabhushan pad is telling that yamuna is manifestation of vishakha and she is vishakha is sakya radharani vishakam shikshali vitrana gurutve she is our shiksha guru so if she is radharani sakhi then she is also our sakhi or swamini huh? or teacher shiksha guru so why call her maiya call her mother understand so that is more like um, uh, like the sabhas understand but it is okay neophyte devotee are saying yamuna maiya ki jai ganga maiya ki jai but we should always say yamuna devi ki jai we should ganga devi ki jai as ganga is also one gopi in golok vrindavan huh? she is also uh, viraja understand so viraja is a gopi understand so we should say ganga devi ki jai tulsi also is a gopi called vrinda gopi so we should not call her maiya but rather and sing the relevant arti so it is very important to have the proper mood when doing raganuga bhajan understood so that is also explained in nicely in madhuri kadambini so uh, that book we should uh, study very carefully understand so um, but as of now uh, whatever you are doing uh, in india there are different brahmanas also they do shri krishna arpanam sri seva making offering but our gurudev has given very elaborate process first of making offering to radha krishna then radha krishna the offering is fed to all the sakhis and manjaris then that distributed prasad to the guru varga then after that to all the living entities understand and then to the householder who is making an offering then he should honor the prasad means householder means he should call out go out and hey anyone is hungry please take prasad before he has they have not taken prasad you should not take prasad any guest has come any sadhu has come You should feed. Shatam vihaya bhaktavyam. If you are not taken food in the morning breakfast, or give up hundred jobs and take the prasadam first. Shatam vihaya bhaktavyam. Sahasram snanam chale. Hundreds of bars should be given and take a bath. Laksham vihaya bhaktavyam. Giving up lakhs and lakhs of work. Ah, you should give charity. Ah, kotim tatva bhaktavyam. Billions and billions of assignments should be given up. We should do the other. Hare Krishna. Hello. And so I will go to the shop to pass. And so that time I am born in the West. Then the. Yes, we will meet and next time you as per the let me know. Okay. Ji Guru. Hare. Thank you. Then the. Then the. Thank you, dear devotees, to stay with us.